Hey guys, Holly Dunaway here, former four time world champion professional boxer. <laughs> uh, let's do a little jump rope. This used to be part of my daily routine. You know, you do like 10, 15 minutes of this at the end of your workout as a cool down. I used to train in uh, St. Louis at this gym called 12th and Park Boxing. And uh, maybe it wasn't in the best neighborhood. You had to go through metal detectors to get into the gym, you know? But uh, there, was, there was at least like 10 seasoned boxers around me at any given time, you know? So like, that's really cool to have that around you. Cause everybody, you know, they get in their little habits, good and bad of like certain combos you throw and your style, but whenever you uh, can look around and you're just surrounded by other boxing talent, then, uh, you know, it, it's like, you can kind of play dress up with other people's styles. <laughs> you can look around and like try on their signature combos, <laughs> see what works for you. Yeah, it's kind of neat. You're going faster. <sighs> see if I can get away with not whelping myself up. <laughs> All right, we gotta get this crisscross down. Looking back, 12th and Park Gym, it, it really made me a better fighter. I was in there with like nothing but men, or at least teenage amateur fighter boys, you know? All of which who are not allowed to talk to me because, you know, I'm the only girl in the gym and I could be a distraction. I probably learned the most from training there though. And it pushed me to be the best version of myself. Even if we were just, it was a massive gym, that, you know, size wise. So we would do like line drills, you know, and run inside of there. And nothing pushes you faster than to have somebody that's like almost as fast as you <laughs> running right behind you or somebody that's even a little bit faster than you. Just making it competitive will push you to your limits or past your limits so you can make new limits. Yeah, when you mess up, you just gotta keep going. Play it off. <laughs> yeah, you can't lose your rhythm. I lived in Vegas. I trained at Richard Steele's boxing gym out there. You know, that famous referee. <laughs> he was there every day, you know. He was really a lover of the sport. That was a nice gym, you know. Big amateur programs. I loved living in Vegas. I was out there for a couple of years and yeah, I really loved Vegas. It was so pretty. Had the whole like tropical feel, kind of like South Florida where I'm at now. But it also had the mountains, you know? <laughs> the mountains were just amazing. I mean, they were good for road work and building up your lung capacity, but I was just so grateful to look at them every day. I would be out there taking my garbage out and I would just be like, thank you, <laughs> you know, that I get to look at this every day. Cause like all of the mountains that surround Vegas, they're all very different from each other. You know, I used to run at Red Rock and of course, you know, self-explanatory, the, the rock is red. <laughs> so whenever the sun would hit it, 
it would light up like pinks and purple. It was so pretty. And then uh, I lived in North Las Vegas, which was right by uh, St. Charles. What was it? Mount Charleston. Yeah, Mount Charleston. And that one was like black rock. You know, it was really high. Sometimes it would be like 90 degrees at the, at the bottom and have ice on the top. I saw that a few times. And uh, yeah, it, was, it would get kind of spooky looking, you know, whenever it would have like gray clouds at the top of it. But I used to really love the mountains. I thought about moving there instead of South Florida, but the beach has my heart. <laughs> I'll take you guys to the beach with me sometime really soon. All right, I'm gonna quit talking for a second, see how fast I can get going. Ouch. Ooh. Two whelps, one on the foot, one on the back of the arm. Ooh. Ow. <laughs> Not the same when you don't do it every day. <sighs> Where do you guys want to go with me next? Come on, leave some comments. What kind of workouts do you like to see? Boxing, of course. Those are coming, don't worry. <laughs> I'll teach you guys to box like you're my own protégés. <laughs> but I just want to get you guys moving with me. That's kind of the whole point of me just being active while I talk to you. I'm just trying to lead by example. Like, here's a million ways to move your body. <laughs> All right. You know, honestly, if you get a jump rope, <laughs> you don't need any other workout equipment. <laughs> this is it. This is your cardio. This is your arms, legs, midsection. <laughs> oh, in my old gym, they would have made you drop and do 20 push-ups for that. <laughs> Don't drop the rope. <laughs> and jealous, don't drop the soap. <laughs> Here, don't drop the rope. <sighs> All right, guys, that's it for today. My lungs are like. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow on hollydunaway.com or on YouTube. Bye, guys.